Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another video. I do a free pick a card on my channel every single Friday. Okay, so today, okay, well before we get started, I have a little heater on in the back so if you hear something a little bit loud, that's what it is. Second, today's reading is blessings from your spirit guides. So we're going to be tapping into the energy of your spirit guides seeing what they want to bring into your life, what they are bringing into your life, and anything basically they want to tell you today. For everybody that is celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself, and um, I'm grateful to have you here. So what I'm going to have you do is pick pile number one or the candy cane, pile number two or the green ornament, pile number three or the pine cone, Pile number four or the red ornament. Let's get into the reading. Pile number one or for everybody that picked the candy cane. Let's go ahead and see what what blessings are coming from your spirit guides. Christmas blessings, I would say. Um, sorry, I just bumped my head on my shelf. <laughs> Surrender your belief in scarcity or scarcity. That's so funny. I bumped my head on the shelf. I feel like your spirit guides are trying to get your attention. Like they're trying to like smack you upside the head. <laughs> or like, you know, like they're trying to get your attention because you're overdoing it when you're thinking about this. Scarcity. What they're trying to teach you and what they're trying to show you is that they, <sighs> there's not really as much lack in your life as you make it seem. The universe, in this case, it's your spirit guides, are asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. Realize that there, this universe is limitless, it's infinite. There's so much power in, in that. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So I feel like what they're trying to say is like, hey, stop speaking down on yourself. Stop saying you're broke. Stop saying that true love doesn't exist. Stop saying that life is bad. Like stop affirming these scarcity mindset. I think that they're really trying to knock that into your head group number one. Yeah, chanting. For that to come right next to that card, you guys speak negativity into your life sometimes. And I feel like the blessing that your spirit guides are trying to bring into your life, it's limitless, it's infinite, it's abundant, there's plenty, there's more than enough. But I feel like you're creating a block by thinking that you could never have these things or that these things could never be in your life or that you can't be rich or that you can't find true love or that you can't move on you can't be happy all this stuff i feel like you're creating blocks in your own mind and then you're affirming that into the world by your voice remember like we use ingredients in like rituals and spells and divination you know our voice is an ingredient because it carries a vibration too. And that's coming straight out of us, our essence, and we're magnets. So whatever comes out of us goes back in. Like it's what you, what you sow, you will reap. Um, or what you reap, you will sow. One of, I cannot remember how it goes, but you know what I'm talking about. So watch how you speak. I think that's a big message from your spirit guides. Um, it's so interesting because there's so many messages from this reading for you guys. It's making sense so much. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. There's rebirth coming. There's definitely regeneration, rebirth, new life coming from your spirit guides. Something is re-emerging. It's not just one thing. I feel like there's plenty of areas of your life that is about to change. For the good reignite re-emerge be reborn um and i feel like it's definitely not just one area of your life so they're bringing blessings to reawaken re-energize um like reignite different areas of your life we also have your back on task 
be sure you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you're working on. All could use some fine tuning. So maybe there is a need for refreshment. Maybe you think in such scarcity mindset, like there's not enough or it's not for you or something like that because you're bored. Because it's boring. It's routine. You're tired of it. It doesn't excite you anymore. You're burnt out. You just need a refreshment of energy. And that is what your spirit team is bringing. We also have here experience peace and calm. So yes, you burnt yourself out. <laughs> you really burnt yourself out. And that puts you in a really deep, lacking and scarcity type of a mindset. So what your spirit guides are bringing to you also is peace and calm energy. So this can be uh, manifested to you in so many different ways. So you could um, you could manifest like a spa day. So maybe somebody could give you a gift like a foot massager, you know, or maybe somebody can rub your feet or like some or you know you somebody draws you a bath or like. I don't know, you somehow manifest free bath bombs and it inspires you to take a bath. Like that's the things that I'm getting by looking up this card. Um, and it's definitely just your spirit guides are going to bring you opportunities to experience peace and calm. And a lot of it I feel like has to do with water. We have here justice. This card is showing its presence because this is a card all about truth. There is a truth that you need to speak, I think. And I think your spirit guides are trying to let you know that you don't need to hide it anymore. You can speak it and it's, it will actually be good for you to speak that out loud and have faith that everything will be okay and go in your favor. This is a win-win solution. Um, justice card is either like contracts, proposals, legal stuff, but justice in your favor. Um, if, if you calm down and invite some peace into your life because you don't want that chaotic, scarcity, lost hope type of an attitude. We also have here Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is help coming in. This is mastering your career, your craft, enjoying your employment. Like this is career. A lot of you maybe, um, I, your spirit guides are sending you a new job. They're sending you a career, sending you uh, employment opportunities, a raise, promotion, something new in your job. Um, that's a big thing for a lot of you. We also have here the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords comes in to tell you that this is a fast action type of an opportunity. This is a lifestyle change that is going to be happening. And I feel like for a lot of you, it is to do with your job. Death. Yeah, I think a lot of you, an old job or an old opportunity that that you're not excited about is ending and you, it's like you were holding on to it for a long time and just was not doing you any good it it really took a toll on your mindset and there's big changes coming there's endings of things that were just uh, making you believe that there's lack and there's not enough um you're moving on. Your spirit guides are going to help you move on into this transformation, this rebirth. Rebirth. And I also feel you're going to be adapting to this new change very beautifully. Um, and it is going to raise your vibration. I am going to pick a card from the Ganesha deck just to get one energy from him. But before I do that, I do want to talk about the candy cane. Candy cane is peppermint, it's minty. Peppermint is used for communication and opening roads. So that's another thing that your uh, spirit guides are also bringing. And the card that we have here is determination. I feel like your spirit guides are awakening so much within you and it's gonna open up your root chakra. Your root chakra is where you feel safe, stable, 
financially stable, stable in your relationships, you feel it's your domestic life, it's your home life, it's your roots, it's your foundation. So those things are becoming stable while uh, they were rocky before and you were moving forward in your life thinking that you know there's not enough. Maybe there was a legal thing that was keeping you in scarcity. Maybe there was a legal matter that was keeping you stuck. You were losing your faith. Um, but there's death to that energy too. Whatever was keeping you stuck, whatever was keeping you in the scarcity mindset. Remember, when you think in scarcity mindset and the lacking mindset, your root chakra suffers the most. That's really crazy that the root came up. So Ganesha is helping to heal your root chakra. Your spirit guides are helping you heal your root big time. They're balancing it out um, with the water card here. Because root is earth, it's the foundation, it's ground, it's dirt, soil, all of that stuff. You know, water is more fluid, like our mind, you know. Um, so your spirit guides are balancing as above, so below. Your mind and your uh, physical self and your mental self, you know, balance. That's why you have the scales right here. A lot of you guys may be Libras. Uh, Libras have had a tough year in root chakra and sacral chakra healing especially um yeah so that is your reading that is the blessings that your spirit guides are bringing to you group number one i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you real soon bye hello group number two or for everybody that picked the green ornament let's go ahead and see what blessings your spirit guides are bringing to you all right the first the card that we have here is joy, surrendering to joy. So your spirit guides especially are trying to bring you opportunities, situations that bring you more joy. So that is a major goal of theirs and that's a major priority of theirs. Uh, let's see what else comes up for you. The Four of Swords. Mm. They're asking you if you can rest. Four of Swords is celebration, it's resting, it's retreating, renewing yourself, renewing your energy. This is taking time out for yourself in solitude. This is recovering from something. This is like giving yourself the time that you need to just be. Like whether that's like being lazy, being like just cleaning your whole house if you want to do that this is not something that you necessarily need to do this is something you want wait it's not something that i don't know how to say this in words it's so weird okay let me try to articulate this into words This is something that maybe you've been taught that is unproductive or you're being lazy or not a necessity, not a priority, but I don't know what this is for a lot of you, but there is something that makes you feel at peace, you know? And like for me, like let me give an example so you guys know what I'm talking about. For me, it's definitely cooking and cleaning, but it has to be on my own time and my own terms the way I want to do it. Uh, and how I like to do is turn some music on, have myself some glass of wine. Like, that's my cleaning or cooking process and it's so therapeutic for me and I have to be alone. And it just makes me get inside my head, think about all of these things, just let my mind flow freely wherever it wants to go, whatever it needs to think about. And if it goes to sad places, dark places, then I think about it and I think like, why am I thinking about this? And Whereas if you're busy and that thought comes in your head, you get stressed out because you know you can't think about it right then and there. So you need to like suppress it or you know what I'm saying? Like you need to give yourself that time where you allow whatever is within you to come up and then you have a conversation with yourself about it. So I feel like your spirit guides are bringing that to you. Man, I wish this reading could be from me. <laughs> Uh, we also have aromatherapy. Okay, so your spirits are telling you use scent and use smells. 
to trick your mind, to manipulate your energy, to change the energy, to attract, to manifest. So many things you can do with scent and aroma. I have a few videos on my channel. Um, you can also like pick a scent or pick like an intention. Say you want to relax and calm down, right? What your spirits are asking of you. Then you would uh, go to lavender or chamomile and then you would, you know, use the scent of lavender and chamomile and I think it would not only help you calm down and relax but it would also open you up to the blessings that your spirit guides are trying to send your way because lavender and chamomile also not only do they help you relax but they help your energy relax too and so you put up less resistance to your spirit guides and to the abundance and the blessings that they're trying to send your way let love in use roses you guys your spirit guides are telling you that it's okay to let love in a lot of you in your home life and your family life you're very wary doubtful and suspicious of your own blood and your own loved ones even your own partner and i feel like this is not the time to do that this is the time to open yourself up to joy let the love in stop being doubtful stop being suspicious you need to take a little bit of time out to see the bigger picture that there is a reason why you feel suspicion and this is like i feel like it, a lot of it is in your head and people in your head a lot of this is people in your head and your spirit guides are saying stop listening to other people you need to take some time out and go within yourself because what answers you come up with are far better far 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 better for you than any advice anybody else could give you because this advice is coming straight from your spirit guide. So when you're letting them in, you're letting love in. How you can let them in? Aromatherapy, lavender, chamomile for you guys. I also see here mint or basil, oranges, whatever scent uplifts you, calms you, soothes you, makes you feel good. Remember, Scents invoke feeling, and feeling is very powerful. So it will say roses, right? Roses, you smell roses, you feel good. That's that feeling, that good feeling, it's a vibration, and that's a key ingredient in any magic. We also have here the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, this is abundance coming in. Your spirit guides are trying to bring you some abundance. It looks like some financial abundance coming in here this is a very solid thing coming very practical thing coming in um it could be like um, a lot of you may be starting a new business or may get an idea to start a new business um but it all like your spirits are saying like whatever this is that you're starting it's gonna bring you so much happiness and i feel like a lot of you know there's something you're supposed to be doing it know you're supposed to be doing something but you don't know what it is and your spirit guides are trying to tell you sending you messages sending you signs and you're confused as hell so i feel like they're saying hey take some time out rest retreat so that they can tell you this idea that they have we have the six of swords movement all right a lot of you may be moving a lot of your spirit guides may find the perfect house the perfect place for you um and you now, if you're thinking about moving, they're working on it, they're finding the perfect place for you, they're making the arrangements, they're shifting energies and everything for that perfect place and you to come together. Now, if you, what else was I going to say? I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, this is also a very necessary transformation, very necessary, um, move or change um and this is like some kind of a relocation your spirit guides are trying to relocate you or they're trying to move you from one place to another where it's better for you so they are like if you're working towards getting a new house maybe you're trying to save up what they're trying to say is you need to take a little break and a little moment of solitude like reflection meditation so that they can tell you things because they're they're doing things for you for they're preparing you for a move a lot of you guys i see you guys your dream home that's a big energy that is coming in we also have here 
Queen of Pentacles. We have King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you, this may be love. Maybe your spirit guides are trying to either heal your relationship, amplify your relationship, or bring in the love of your life. And using it for, you need to let it in. Stop being suspicious of it. A lot of you may be buying a house or moving in with your partner. I see a very strong relationship for a lot of you. Your spirit guides are trying to bring you a strong home and a strong relationship. But what's needed here is the smell and the scent of your environment. You need to pay attention to that. And don't be afraid to let this love in. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Don't hide things. Don't keep things in. Don't suppress things. Um, your spirit guides want you to be more open. They, the blessings that, you're, that they are bringing you is for you to speak more openly. They're bringing you your own authenticity. And uh, Queen of Pentacles also symbolizes a very resourceful person. This is also maybe a pregnancy or fertility. Um, something coming in. Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Your spirit guides are rooting for your love life. So they're going to bring you abundance and blessings in your love life especially. So they're working, two things they're working major on bringing this blessing into your life is love and home, a house uh, of some sort. And the last card that comes up is surrounded by prosperity. Oh, ooh. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. Okay, I want, I want to explain something real quick. Okay, so do you guys see this image right here? This person is within this ice box, right? Outside of it, you can see everything that's outside of it. There's like animals and snow and ice and swords. You can see everything that's outside of it. He can see everything that's outside of it, but when he goes inside this ice box and he closes his eyes, that's, that's the beyond. That's the unknown. That's the outside the box. Isn't that crazy? Um, so I feel like your spirit guides are trying to give, bring that energy into your life that is just outside the norms. And for a lot of you, your spirit guides are also bringing you a lot of money, financial stability, financial security, financial gain, um, like invest like property investment something sturdy and strong and everlasting when it comes to finances something is gonna like i feel like your finances are going to freeze in i don't want to say freeze I, they're going to they're going to be locked in financial security and financial abundance is going to be locked in for you guys somehow and your uh, spirit guides are working on that that's the blessings that they're bringing somehow to you. So maybe a lot of you, a loan is going to go through, a house paperwork is going to go through, um, marriage is going to like happen. These are the blessings that are coming to you guys. But what you need to do is stop being so suspicious of love, use aromatherapy, and take some time to yourself, meditate, reflect, you know, go inside your own mind. So and also be true to who you are. And the green ornament, green ornament, prosperity, money, right? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. For everybody that picked group number three or the pine cone, let's go ahead and see what your spirit guides are bringing you. What blessings are they bringing you? So the first card that comes up is surrendering to your full power. So they are trying to open you up to your own power. Your life is calling for you. Well, in this case, your spirit guides are calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Have you guys been playing it small? Because it seems like something's saying you are. Leaping through the air. A plan that you've made is on track. If you're waiting for something, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects that you're considering what are you putting off or playing small or like 
putting off to the side. It's something that ignites fire and passion within you. It makes, something that makes you want to get up in the morning. It's something that makes you inspired, but you, you tend to like put it to the back burner. And your spirit guides, the blessing that they're bringing, I feel like they're going to bring that, whatever that thing, person, relationship, career, whatever that is for you, passion, hobby, they're going to bring it to the forefront of your life. Because it's going to open yourself up to your true power. Like, you're going to see how powerful of a being you truly are just by following your passion, not always putting it last and putting it in the back burner. We have the Knight of Wands. This is a very strong person. You're a very strong person but and you know your masculine energy and your feminine energy are both very strong um but there is something you do you it's like you're holding yourself back and you're very guarded you are very guarded and your spirit guides are saying you don't need to be this guarded because we're backing you up we're here we're shielding you we're protecting you you don't need to guard yourself like this. You're such a free spirit. And I feel like a lot of you are very sexual, uh, very creative. But there's something blocking your power. There's uh, Your creativity, your sexuality, your power, your sacral chakra is blocked. And that's where you get your confidence. That's what governs your sexuality, creation, manifestation. It governs how much pleasure and joy you allow into your life. So these are things that your, your spirit guides are working on. We have here the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is... For me, I always think that this card is saying make something out of nothing. Six of Cups is gifts coming in. Uh, so your spirit guides are bringing you gifts. They're, there's a reunion. You could be uh, reuniting with someone, either a family member, a long lost friend. There's a re reuniting that's going to happen. And it's definitely somebody that lifts you up and raises your vibration that's something that your spirit guides are bringing into your life so keep an eye out for that and also nostalgia so um your spirit guides might throw some things at you that will make you think of your past and just reflect on your past and heal your past and like make something make something positive and joyous out of something that was a negative so a lot of you are just transmuting a lot of things in your mind and that's going to give you a lot of power and that's a gift that your spirit guides are bringing to you another thing that comes up is the world the world card this card your spirit guides are trying to bring you your world at your feet but they need you to understand your full power first i feel like everything they have everything ready it's on the other side of this wall that you built <laughs> and they're trying to break down that wall and they want you to also actively help in breaking down that wall so that all of this world energy can go. like look at all the fish that's all the opportunity that's coming your way um the world card is also completing of a goal so whatever this was like some plan or some goal that is manifesting your spirit guides are going to manifest that and they also are going to be manifesting some kind of travel very soon and the last card that came up for you guys is demonstrate love find out what's important to those you love and act on it so another way that you can surrender to your fullest power is by giving so give some like it doesn't even have to be like money or gifts like what if your loved one needs some attention from you or just a shoulder to cry on or maybe they just need a little like pick me up maybe you could send them some flowers like somebody needs your love and your spirit guides are trying to tell you somebody needs your love here 
And I said that's the last card, but it's not. I have two cards more here. We have here, clean your space. So your spirit guides are trying to tell you another thing that you need to do in order to bring this world energy onto your into your life is to clean your space, clean up a little bit, clean up dust, dirt, debris, clutter, clean up a little bit because that is, that also, you know, dirty things and dust and clutter, that creates blocks too. Um, and the last card that comes up for you is purify your body. So not only clean your space, but purify your body, drink more water, um, more natural things, detox the junk out of your system, um, you know, more teas, more fruits, vegetables, and stuff like that. So I feel like this is, this is not a hard thing for your spirit guides to do for you. And the blessings that they want to bring to you all have to do with you feeling better, feeling healthier, your body having more energy, and also manifesting everything that you want to manifest. Um, I see that the blocks are there, but they're not that big. And your spirit guides just need you to work with them. You know, so clean your space, purify your body. Somebody in your life needs your love. Um, and these are things that will help get realign you to the vibration of the things that you want to manifest. So your spirit guides, they're bringing, you're, you're going to manifest. They're going to manifest what you want. But there's a little, a few things here and there that you need to tweak in your life, the pine cone. If you guys have seen my pine cone video, check it out because this has everything to do with building an everlasting foundation, everlasting relationships, your third eye, your pineal gland, and your full power. Like this, it's so interesting, full power, right? This little pine cone right here has the potential to become a big evergreen, everlasting tree that can withstand cold. Not a lot of trees can do that. So all of that is packed, all that potential is packed in here. So I feel like your spirit guides are saying, there's so much potential in you and they're going to bring that out. They're gonna bring your potential out. I'm gonna pull one card from my Ganesha deck and then we can end the reading. So we have, look at that, blessings. So your spirit guides are bringing you blessings, manifestations, um, it, it looks like, good things. They're bringing you really, really good positive things. Just a little bit of work on your part and things should start moving. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Group number four, everybody that picked the red ornament. Let's go ahead and see what your spirit guides are bringing you. What blessings are they going to be bringing you this Christmas? We have the hanged man. They're bringing you a change of perspective on something. So something you're gonna be looking at completely different. They're also bringing you a, a period of rest and retreat and just relaxation and just resting and pausing. They're bringing you that. They're bringing you an ending of this very low, low vibrational phase of your life. A lot of you may be overly excessively drinking or smoking or eating. Or maybe you're being excessive and not eating. Something like that that's coming in. And that's your spirit guides are going to bring you something that um, is going to heal some issues that you're having with that. Um, your spirit guides are bringing you something. They're definitely bringing in something. And... I feel like a lot of you are not in the best mood, but just know they want you to know like, hey, you got to change your perspective. Oh my God, there's a huge message of perspective coming in. Do you guys see perspective? A uh, hanged man is always have to do with the way you view things, changing the way you view things, like taking a step back. The four of cups is somebody's bringing you an opportunity and you're looking the wrong way. You're not even looking up to see. You're so caught up in your emotions and your memories and just your pain and whatever's going on. You're so caught up in yourself and your mind that you won't even turn around to see and your spirit guides are right there. Oh my God, they're freaking right there. Page of Pentacles, they're right there, you guys. 
This is a very reliable spirit, very reliable energy. This is a patient energy. So your spirit guides have been very patient with you. Um, they're also bringing you a new job or money or raise, an opportunity. Um, there's something materialistic, some materialistic abundance or financial gain that your spirit guides are bringing you. But what they need from you is to change your energy, like focus on something else. Whatever you're focusing on right now, you need to change your focus because they're right there and they want to bring you some nice things. Take note. The number 22, they want to bring you a relationship. This has something to do with love too, a relationship or just, yeah, there are opportunities in a relationship, um, harmony, peace, playfulness, flirtiness in a relationship. Uh, your answers are being given to you. I told you they're right there, I'm telling you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what's being offered. A lot of you may be in this position because you're letting too many people inside of your head, letting people know your business, asking way too many people for advice, talking about your issues and problems and challenges with everyone. And that's not good because energy wise, that's not good. You don't ever want to tell everybody your business. You don't like that is so personal and private and there's so much like energy out there. It's, you don't know how someone else's energy will affect like say you're going through a hard time and you're talking about it to a few different people, right? And one of those people has the shittiest energy ever. And what you're going through, it's about to come to like um, an ending. It's about to like, you're about to manifest something and you don't even see it. Things are about to shift and change for you for the positive and you don't even see it. But because this negative ass person knows your business, knows your next steps, knows your emotions, you guys have an energy exchange. So make sure you're not speaking about your life to anyone, to just anyone, you know? There's a lot of opportunity and a lot of good energy, loving energy, passion, intimacy, sex coming in that your spirit guides want to bring in in your relationship. I don't know if you're in a relationship or if you're not, but this is pertaining to you. Whether you're in a relationship or not, these are energies that your spirit guides are bringing into your life. Take note that this is what's coming and change your mindset of because this is what's coming. Look like, oh man, I don't know what it is you guys are focusing on, but it's very, very negative. <laughs> Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. A lot of you guys don't want to accept support because you want to do everything on your own and it's creating issues in your relationship. You're very independent and you don't want to look weak. Inside you could be crumbling, but you will put on the bravest face that anyone ever seen. Um, and your spirit guides are saying, stop doing that. Stop it. They're there to protect you. They're there. They're helping you, guiding you. Um, and what they need from you is for you to speak up. Don't tell them what you don't have. Don't tell them what you're lacking. Don't tell them what's missing. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you need. Tell them what you want more of. Tell them what makes you happy. Tell them what you're thankful for. They want to hear these things out of you. Because, because they're ready to make things move. But they need to hear it from you. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs again, again. Your spirit guides are like screaming at you. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support, ask for help. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Um, you need to bring your focus back on yourself. That's another big message from your spirit guides. And that is a blessing that they are bringing into your life where you're changing your focus and you're bringing it back to yourself. And you're not afraid to ask for what you want and need in order to remain positive and in high vibration. Make an altar. It's funny that that comes right underneath ask for help. So your spirit guides are saying they need 
some altar work done. So either you need to maybe make an altar or you need to clean yours or decorate yours or redo yours. There's some altar work that needs to be done. And also when you need anything, instead of going to this place, your spirit guides are telling you, go here and speak. because they're listening and you like don't I think a lot of you also speak about your problems speak about your struggles and issues and stuff with other people because you feel like maybe you will seem relatable and they will like you more or something but yeah don't do that <laughs> the last card that comes up for you is lemon access innovative thinking a lot of you guys a lot of you guys don't really think for yourself because you don't trust yourself or you're not confident enough in your own decisions and your own thoughts. A huge blessing that your spirit guides are bringing to you is trust in your own thoughts. That is probably the biggest thing that they are bringing you. They're going to show you your own power. They're going to show you your own ability to manifest. They're going to show you the power in you speaking up and they are going to show you all of this because they want to show you your own power. Hence why you pick the red ornament. Red is power. Seduction, sex, lust, passion, sacral chakra, root chakra. These are all the energies that they're bringing to you. I'm going to pull from my Ganesha deck and then we can go ahead and end the reading. Understanding. Another thing that they want to bring you is an understanding. They need you to really shift your focus and change your focus because you're going to have this newfound, they're bringing you this newfound understanding of your power when you connect with them because they're right there. And it's so, it's so crazy. I feel like they're right there and all that's in between you and them is this wall that you've built and the wall is built from unhealthy toxic behaviors and patterns and thoughts and that's what they're going to be breaking down to show you your own power to make you understand your own power so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you very soon bye